Hello dear friends, welcome again to my channel. It's me Teacher D. Na leo tunaenda kuangalia geography upande wa kidato cha tatu geography topic ya soil. Um, imekuwa requested na wanafunzi wengi na mimi naenda kuizungumzia leo tunaenda kuangalia topic ya soil ambayo kimsingi hii topic inatoa maswali kuanzia form 3, form 4, form 5, form 6. Kwa hiyo ni topic ambayo inawahusu wanafunzi wote. Naitoa kwa lugha ya Kiswahili. Kama ni mara ya kwanza unatembelea hii channel ni kuombe usiache kusubscribe, ku like, ku pamoja na ku comment. Nitaenda haraka haraka kwa ajili ya kuokoa muda, lakini nina target uone vile vitu vya msingi na vya muhimu ambavyo lazima kwenye mtihani vinatoka. Karibu twende pamoja. Topic ambayo tunaanza nayo tunaita ni topic ya soil ni topic ya tatu kwa masomo kwa wanafunzi wa kawaida ambapo topic hii sasa tunaanza kwa kutazama the meaning of soil soil ni kitu gani right soil tunatema ni kwa lugha ya la karaka tunatema ni thin upper layer of the acid crust which has been weathered from the parent materials and decomposed and the, and the decomposed the aluminum and the plants kwamba hii ni thin upper layer ni upper layer of the acid crust which is ambayo yenyewe inakuwa which is which has been weathered from the parent rock ambayo yenyewe inakuwa imekuwa loaded loaded kutoka katika parent rocks material mbalimbali pamoja na decomposed animals and the plant pamoja na yale maozo au mabaki ya mimea na wanyama ndio ya mwisho siku natengeneza huo udongo right ambao hiyo soil tunasema anasema soil support plants growth and the animals life kwamba animal life kwamba soil yenyewe ina support mimea lakini pia na maisha ya wanyama. Sasa kuna fakta ambazo zina influence soil kuwa formed. Hilo ni swala la kwanza. Unaweza kaja kwamba explain the factor influences the soil formation, right? Tunaposema factor kwamba ni hivi ni vile visababishi vya udongo kutokea au vitu vinavyotoa mchango mpaka udongo utokee ni kama vifuatavyo. Tunasema hapa kwamba there are several factors there are several factors which influence the soil formation these are ya kwanza kabisa tunaita ni parent rock parent rock materials kama tulivyosema mwanzo kwamba ni miamba hii lakini ya pili tunasema ni ni, ni climate b ni climate ya tatu tunasema ni ni, ni living organism kwamba climate ni hali ya hewa kwa maana ya mvua na jua vinaweza vikachangia ya tatu ambayo ni living organism kwa maana ya viumbe hai wanaoishi kwa maana ya wanyama pamoja na mimea lakini kuna relief tunapozungumza relief au topographical hapa tunachukua na kitazama ni ile general appearance of the earth lakini pia tunakuwa tunazungumzia masuala ya milima pamoja na mabonde right lakini ya mwisho tunasema ni time muda na hii ni sababu nyingine ya kuformiwa kwa soil kwamba ile long period na short time vyote vina mchango katika formation of the soil sasa naomba ni blush kidogo hapa. Tunapozungumzia parent rock tuna maana kwamba nilivyoelezea hivyo. Sitaki nikae sana nataka nifundishe hii topic yote haraka. Tunapozungumzia parent rock tunazungumzia ile miamba. Miamba inapo decompose au inapojivunja vunja ina form ina yani zile zile big rocks zinaweza ku disintegrate kutokana na agent of erosion kama ikiwa ni weather, wind au bila atakuwa agent of erosion yani tukizungumza agent of erosion tunamaanisha kwa masuala ya water wind pamoja na 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 na, 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 na masuala ya hizo zote zinaweza zikavu disintegrate rocks na kuwa katika small particles hiyo ikatengenezea kutokea kwa udongo tunapozungumzia climate akwambia most variable element under the climate uh, uh, climate uh, temperature precipitation maana ya rainfall and the wind kwa mvua tunapozungumzia climate na yenyewe ni factor nyingine ya kutokeza kwa udongo kwa maana ya mvua pamoja na joto nafikiri kama ushaiona ile point ya exfoliation kwamba jua joto linapokuwa kubwa mwamba una una una, una, fionza, una fionza na kuvimba lakini joto linapopungua mwamba unaweza kusinyaa kwa maana mchana mwamba unavimba baada ya kufyonza jua usiku unapoingia baridi mwamba unasinyaa kwa hiyo unaweza vunjwa kutokana na ile process of exfoliation na kujikuta imetokea hiyo udongo lakini ukiacha hiyo living organism nafikiri tunajua wanadamu pamoja na, na wanyama tunavyokuwa na mchango mkubwa katika kufomea kwa soil kwa maana ya shughuli zetu za kila siku tunaweza kutengeneza udongo 
lakini pia the movement of animals in a big number na yenyewe unaweza ka disintegrate logs na zikawa katika small particles ikawa ni na 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 na, 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 na ikawa udongo shughuliza binadamu kama kama uchimaji wa madini e, kilimo na vitu vingine ndizo moja ya sababu zinazopelekea kutokea kwa hii na nili kutokea kwa kwa, kwa, kwa kuchanga lakini tumesema lairifu kwa maana ya hapo tunazungumzia zile hapa amesema ni influence that kwamba relief rule of the forest formation is indirect the relief influence climate and the vegetation right no problem the relief in influence the influence climate and the vegetation the most important aspect of topographical soil formation steep right tunazungumzia steep slope sehemu ambako kuna steep slope area maana kiudongo pale unakuwa ni mchache eneo ambalo lina bonde mteremko mkali kule juu hapa kai udongo lakini sehemu ambayo iko ni gentle slope maana yake udongo unakuepo na muda mrefu maana yake hauwezi kufanyaje huo udongo ndipo tunasema kwamba basi relief na ina mchango lakini time ni ile kipindi tunazunguzia duration duration kwa maana ya time sorry 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 tunazunguzia time kwa maana same akwambia it involves the duration that has been taken in the process of soil formation udongo utatokea kama uta take time long period basi na, na yenyewe ita udongo utatokea kwa muda mrefu kitaki short time utatokea kwa muda mfupi um importance of soil is to izungumzia utasoma mwenyewe nataka nizungumzie composition of the soil ni vitu gani vinavyounda udongo right we speak about composition of the soil there are things almost four thing yeah kuna vitu kama vinne cha kwanza kinachounda udongo kuna organic matter ambayo yenyewe ina take almost 5% total volume of the soil ambayo hii organic matter inakuwa made up from the plant and animal remains right katika mabaki ya mwanadamu na wanyama ndio inachukua 5% katika udongo lakini tukitoka hapo tunakuja ya pili tunaita ni inorganic matter important the humans that tutazungumzia important kuna inorganic matter this e in a form almost 45% of the total volume and it made up of the minerals from the parent rocks unaona kwamba miamba ina mchango mkubwa inakaribia 45% ya udongo kwamba na hii ndio tunaita inorganic matter na yenyewe ina ndio yani hiyo kiungana ndio kitatengeneza udongo kwa hiyo kuna 45% ambayo inatoka katika miamba lakini kuna asilimia kuna asilimia kuna asilimia tano inayotoka katika plants and animals lakini kuna soil water ambayo nakwambia it takes almost about 25% to the to the hiyo ni total volume and it is one of the most important soil components. Hii ni component nyingine muhimu. Hizi ndizo zile component tunazounda ambao hii inatumia almost 25%. Alafu ya mwisho ni soil air ambayo na yenyewe ina take it form about 25 of the total volume. It consists of the soil atmosphere from which a plant and a, and a plants and the soil organ obtain oxygen from their metabolism and the dispose of carbon dioxide and other gases kwa hiyo yeye yenyewe ni kuingiza zile carbon dioxide na nini na na oxygen kwa hiyo tunachukua air tunachukua water tunachukua inorganic matter pamoja na organic matter ndio zinatengeneza udongo kikubwa ambacho kimekuwa requested sana ni nizungumzie hii tunaita soil properties topic ndio naisha hivyo soil properties kwamba soil ina properties na vitu vyake vile yeah? ambapo hii properties tunazungumzia soil properties zimeundwa katika physical properties lakini kuna chemical properties sasa katika physical properties kuna vitu gani kitu cha kwanza kilichopo katika physical properties soil uh, tuna hii inaitwa soil profile nafikiri tunaijua na kama tujui tunaita ni ile vertical tunasema ni vertical section of the soil right vertical section sorry vertical tunaita vertical section from the surface to the parent lock characterized by distinct layers usually a different extent of color kwamba hii ni ule ule wima wa udongo kutoka uso wa mwamba kule kupanda mpaka kwenye uso wa ardhi ambapo tunasema hii vertical section ndio tunaitemu kama soil profile kwa ukikuta katika kuchagua umeambiwa uelezee au swali inakuja what is the soil profile it means in the vertical section of the surface of rock from parent rock to the 
to the to the surface how from the surface to the parent lobe ambo inale inalea zake au inaezita ozone kuna a b c d na kila moja ina maelezo yake paka bedrock na mimi si tu izungumzia na kupatu ile picha tu ya haraka haraka lakini ni swali ambalo lina max zake point ya pili ya composition na ni properties of soil tunazungumzia hii soil depth tunapozungumzia soil depth tunazungumzia anasema soil varies from the place to place depending on the maturity hapa kikubwa kinachotazamwa au kikubwa kinachoangaliwa hapa ni kwamba inazungumziwa kwamba kuna udongo yani hapa ni, 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 ni ule umri au ule ukongwe wa udongo kwamba kuna sehemu ambapo udongo utakuepo kwa muda mrefu kuna sehemu udongo na kuepo kwa muda mfupi kuna tofautiana na udongo ambao utakuepo ni yani ile maturity influenced by the nature of the rock as well as edulation kwa kuna nature of the rock ni mwamba gani ulotoa huo udongo lakini pia the duration we are speaking about the duration of the soil forming process which have been operating ni kitambo gani huo udongo umekuwa ukitengenezwa kwa sababu gani soil depth is important for the agriculture yeah agriculture activity thus deep soil is important for the agriculture activities while shallow soil is not good for agriculture sema ambao kuna kuwa na udongo mwingi yani manake udongo wa kutosha umejirundika kwa kitambo kirefu umeoza umekuwa na umekuwa na manake na na zile material yoyote hizo ndio tunasema ni muhimu kwa kilimo lakini ule udongo ambao umejirundika muda mfupi lakini wenyewe upo shallow manake upo karibu sana sana na yani umekaribiana na miamba huwa hutufai kwa hiyo kinachoangalia katika soil depth tunazungumzia ni ile ile sasa ni ile deep and kikubwa hapa kinacho tazamwa ni ile ile duration of the soil lakini pia tunazungumzia nature of the rock ambayo imeform ile katika ule udongo i don't know kama nimeeleweka kama hujaelewa naomba niulize katika 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 katika, katika comment hapo chini tunapozungumzia hii nyingine ni soil color soil color tunazungumzia masuala ya rangi eh kwamba udongo una rangi kwa tunasema soil color is determined by the material and the mineralogical composition from which the soil is derived and organic matter. Kwa hapa kikubwa katika soil color ni swala la rangi tu kwamba kuna ambao ni dark, ambao dark na black na gray na dark brown etc. Lakini kuna hii bright ambayo ina yellow, ina orange, red pamoja na reddish brown and the yellow brown. Lakini kuna light ambayo ina white na white si gray. Kwa hiyo hizi ni hizo na nini? lakini nyingine property nyingine tunazungumzia soil texture. Tunapozungumzia soil texture tunazungumzia ile tunasema ni unapo unaposhika unapoingiza vidole viwili katika chumvi eh, au katika udongo unaposhika kwa vidole viwili alafu unavipishanisha una kama unasugua hivi ile size vile vipati kuna hapo vipata ndio hiyo tunaita texture. Yaani kama una test flani hivi hiyo tunaita ndio maana unapata ile size of the of the particles kinachotazamwa katika soil texture kinazungumziwa inaitwa soil texture kwa maana ya samani nipo kwenye kelele tunapozungumzia soil texture tunamaanisha ni ile ile size eh anakuambia lifaa to the degree of cosa ina degree of the coarseness of the soil soil and especially soil mineral particles it can also be refer as a variation in the particle size eh? particles size kwa hiyo hapa kinachotazamwa katika soil texture tunazungumzia ni size of the particles eh, eh sky sana hapo na ama nakuja kwenye soil properties kwenye soil properties kinachotazamwa hapa ni ile udo, jiwe limeungwa ungwa naomba nieleweke hapa jiwe limeundwa jiwe limeundwa na namba la ofu jiwe limeundwa na namba of limeundwa na number of particles right ambazo kwa pamoja zile particles ndio zinaunda jiwe sasa kutoka particle moja kwenda particle nyingine kuna space katikati pale ambayo space ndo tunaita soil porosity this are total volume of the pores or empty space between the particles of the soil materials especially in the soil kwa ile space inayokuepo kati ya 
ya ya ya ya ya ya kapunje kamoja ka mchanga na kingine ambako vikiungana kwa pamoja vinatengeneza jiwe ndio tunaita swali porosity um kuna importance na vitu kama vile kuna solid structure na hapo namba 6 solid structure tunazungumza ni ile arrangement of the solid particles in aggregate compound particles kwamba ni ule mpangilio tu pamoja mzuri ndio tajika katika udongo lakini kuna soil temperature maana tunazungumzia hapa joto katika udongo na ina depend according to the nature of the place sehemu kuna baridi kuna maeneo yana joto na joto linaweza likaona mchango wake kama tuliviona pale mwanzo katika climate sasa apart from there tunakuja katika B ambapo ni climate chemical properties hapa kinachotazama nakwambia katika chemical properties kikubwa sana kinachoangaliwa hapa ni hapa kwamba katika 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 chemical properties na kwamba this include solid properties like soil reaction au inaitwa soil pH. Kwa katika chemical properties hapa inaangaliwa soil pH. Alafu pia kuna hiki kinaitwa reaction exchange and reaching. Unaona kwamba kuna soil pH lakini kuna pia hii inaitwa reaction exchange and reaching. Ambapo tunasema soil reaction maana ya soil hiyo soil 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 pH akwambia this is a term used to describe the degree of acidity hii hii is only pH yenyewe inatumika kudetermine au kudescribe the degree of acidity and alkalinity kwa hiyo vikubwa vinavyotazamwa hapa ni acidity pamoja na alkalinity in the soil and it is related to the main mainly to climate sasa tunasema this degree of acidity and the alkalinity is expressed in the pH value ina inakuwa expressed katika hiyo pH value ambayo which is a, which is the measure in terms of hydrogen ions concentration held by the soil colloid hapa tumeenda kikemia zaidi kwa hiyo usiwaze sana kinachotajika kujua kwamba katika soil reaction au soil pH kinachotazamwa ni degree of acidity and alkalinity over and out na hapa tukitoka hapo kuna factor influence the soil formation tushazitazama mwanzo zina maelezo makubwa tu the importance of soil i think you can lead yourself lakini kuna stamp of classification na nini na nini soil texture triangle so muhimu sana lakini kama ni form 5 form 6 soma mimi nimekuwa nataka kuonesha tu vitu muhimu soil erosion sidhani kama kuna shida hapa umesoma soil erosion na agent of soil erosion ambao kuna water wind pamoja na ice and the grass gravity na pamoja na gravity types of the erosion ambao kuna normal geologic erosion pamoja na acceleration soil erosion factor affecting acceleration soil erosion huku sidhani kama mimi ninaendelea kukaa nilichokuwa najaribu kukigusa ni vile vitu vya mwanzo kabisa ambao vilikuwa requested um i think nimemaliza nimemaliza cha muhimu ni kwamba kama umejifunza au umenote kitu au kuna sistema ambapo na hisi sijapaeleza vizuri ni kuombe usiache kuandika hapo chini eh naomba pia usiache kusubscribe kushare kwa mtu ambaye anahitaji kuielewa zaidi hii topic hapa nimepiga blush tu is me teacher d welcome na kama kuna topic ambayo ungetamani tuipige au mfumo nao tumia kufundisha so mzuri pia unaweza kushare hapo down karibu sana chao